For this question, we want to know whether the point negative 9, 1 lies on the line with the vector equation shown. Kind of a giveaway here. The answer is yes, and let's see why. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to let negative 9 equal 7 minus 4t. We can tell that the uh, parametric equation will be x equals 7 minus 4t. So we're going to let, let negative 9 equal that. Negative 9 equals 7 minus 4t. Uh, adding 4t to both sides and adding 9 to both sides, we see that t equals 4. All right, well, let's see if a t value of 4 gives a y value of 1. Does 1, right there, equal negative 11 plus 3t when t is 4? 1 equals 1. That's true. Since that's true, negative 9, 1 lies on the line. Let's see what, what it looks like if uh, the answer is no. Another question would be, does 3, negative 5 lie on the line with this equation? Well, let's see. Um, we can tell for this equation, our parametric equation for x would be x equals negative 6 plus 3t. x equals negative 6 plus 3t. We're going to let x be 3, so we're going to say 3 is negative 6 plus 3t. Adding 6 to both sides, 9 is 3t. A t value of 3 is what we get. Well, we know that our y parametric equation will be negative 2 plus t. y equals negative 2 plus t. Well, letting y be negative 5, we say negative 5 equals negative 2 plus t. We're letting 3 equal t, so we're saying negative 5 equals negative 2 plus 3, negative 5 equals 1. We've obviously run into a problem. That's not true. So the point 3, negative 5 is not on that line.